In our last video, we saw how to trade with one click and what all features it has. In this video, we'll see how to place a predefined SL. Let's get into it. Open one click window and once you open one click window, you can maximize it. It would be like this. Here you can see predefined SL feature. You have to enable this and mention what point you wanted as a predefined SL. If I mention 20 points, when I buy from that LTP price below 20 points, it will mention a predefined SL. For example, now I'm clicking buy button here. Okay. So when I click buy button, it was on 32. So once I place buy button from LTP, it takes 20 points below and it plays automatic SL here. Can you see SL is 213.4. This is how you can place predefined SL. To modify your SL, you have to click this modify SL button and you can place whatever SL you wanted. For example, I wanted 210 and add SL. So here you have modified your SL. And if you wanted to do a incremental or decremental, you can use this plus and minus button for changing your SL also like this. And if you wanted to cancel your SL, you have to click this remove SL button. So it would be removed automatically. And later, if you wanted to add again, you can add it. Okay. And for your next trade, if you don't want to have a predefined SL, you can just remove this tick mark. And if you buy any strike, it will not have a SL itself. Okay. Now we'll close all these positions. One more thing you have to remember on predefined SL. Predefined SL always will be placed on market order when it triggers not only predefined SL a normal SL also would be placed on market order when it triggers for example if you're buying in a limit order and you're placing a SL the SL will not be on a limit it would be only on market for example now I'm buying a call option at limit order okay can you see I bought on limit order and if I am adding a SL here, I'm just adjusting it to trigger the SL. So once it triggers, it would be placed on market order only. It will not place on limit order. So irrespective of which order you place, the exit order would be only on market order in SL trigger or MTM uh, stop loss or target trigger or close all position. Whichever option you use, the order exit would be only on market orders. And predefined SL always should be less than your LTP. Like if you're taking out of the money strike, it is trading in eight rupees. And if you place buy order, and it will not place any SL because your predefined SL is already more than the last traded price. So it will not mention any SL. You have to remember that. Now the LTP is 36 rupees and I have decided 20 rupees as a predefined SL. So I'll click buy button. Once I click buy button, it will automatically place a SL here. And after that, if I am adding some position or exiting some position, this SL will not change. So whenever you're taking fresh orders in that particular strike, at that time it will place a predefined SL. And after that, any addition or deletion in a quantity will not change any predefined SL. So I will add position. So I'm adding position. The SL is maintained in 16 only. And I will exit 50% now using action key. SL has not changed at all. And 50% has exited also. You can see here. We had 100 quantity and 50 has exited. One thing you have to remember, the predefined SL, what we are placing will not be sent to a broker till it triggers. So once the SL is being triggered, we will send a market orders. So your predefined SL will be in a front end on your system and will not be saved or sent to the brokers. So when you refresh or load a page, the predefined SL will be cancelled. So you have to make sure you are not refreshing or closing the one click window and reopening. So when you do predefined SL would be cancelled and you will not have any SL. For example, I'll click predefined SL and I'll mention 20 and I'll buy one quantity. Can you see the SL has placed, but it will be cancelled when I refresh the page or close one click and get back to one click again. Can you see 
the SLS cancelled. Not only SL cancelled on refresh, the predefined SL, what you have mentioned as tick mark and you wanted to place predefined SL on your all trades would have also been cancelled. You have to add again. So always make sure you're not refreshing the page or cancelling or closing one click and adding back. If you wanted to have a predefined SL always enabled and if you wanted 20 rupees always to be there when you take a trade, if you are refreshing or if, if you are closing one click and coming back, you have to use a favorite selection and save it. For example, I'll go to favorite selection and click predefined SL and mention 20 and I will save it as a favorite mark. So now whenever I open one click, automatically I will have a predefined SL as 20. No need to tick mark every time. Hope you learnt everything about predefined SL in one click. In our next video, we'll see how trailing SL work. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Learn and earn.